tiny journal to flip through. So lucky I joined the Facebook group Paper Art Happy Mail Australia and I've received a few Happy Mails and oh my gosh it's so exciting to get all these things that are a bit different made by different people and uh, really opens your eyes to what you can do and the different things you can use and I just love it so much and I sent off four I think today four Happy Mails um, and it gives me just as much joy to gather some things that other people might like and send them out to them so I was sitting watching TV last night with my I have a stable table crafty lounge thing and I have my wheelie thing beside me with my craft supplies with just some of the craft supplies on it and I was like hmm I'm going to use some of the things that I love that I've received in happy mail plus a few other bits and pieces make myself a little journal and this doesn't have a cover it's just like a little notebook so this is going to go into one of my journals for me to keep of just the little bits and pieces that I love and the generosity from other people so off I went so here we go just going to do a quick flip through um, the music paper I actually picked up in a local op shop I did get some music paper in my happy mail but it's pure white so this one's a bit more off color so I wanted to use this for this but because oh, I need to coffee dye the other stuff a couple of little tabs these were long ones and I've just flipped them over and glued them down because I only wanted a little tab here that one I glued down this one I didn't glue down so I can write a little secret note in there put it in this little pocket some stickers this gorgeous little girl beautiful yellow flowers I've put a pocket on the front here. This one has a pocket inside a pocket. And inside the pocket is some beautiful... So I've written little notes of who stuff is from, what I like about it, things I like. Love this saying, be strong, go with your heart and believe in miracles. Anything can happen. So sweet. I love teal. Pineapple, I couldn't believe it. I'm looking pineapple and these are just paper tags that you stick on. I used to live near the Big Pineapple, which is an attraction in Tanawa near Butterham in Queensland. And I used to live literally like one minute down the road from there. So I, I'm like, that's me. That's that's where I used to live. Even though that's probably, that isn't the Big Pineapple, but the things that bring back memories. And I was thinking... I don't, haven't ever done that much journaling. I do have a few diaries I've done sporadically over my lifetime. Um, but as a rule, I haven't done a lot of journaling. And now that I lost my dad a couple of years ago and my mum's getting older, I keep telling mum, write down your stories, write down your stories. And she's like, why? And I'm like, well, I would love to read all those things and, and see what their life was like. And I know they tell you the stories, but you forget it sometimes. It's just so nice to have it written down. And I hope my kids one day will look through something like this and read the little notes and go, oh, okay, that makes sense, things like that. So we had some budgies for a while, so that reminded me of the budgies. Butterflies, who doesn't love butterflies? This is uh, one that I'd already made myself a while ago. Beautiful purple ribbon. My name, Sunny. This is actually a little tuck, which I um, you can put something in here. I haven't, haven't done that yet. There's a few bits and pieces in here I haven't finished. Another very cute sticker. I actually got those ones from Timo. And I was playing with some watercolour crayons that I've had for years and haven't used a lot. So I was just checking out how they went on this paper. Because this paper is quite a smooth... Like it's not glossy, but it's not rough. It's kind of that in-between sort of matte, shiny matte, if I can say that. Beautiful butterfly stickers. Just little notes about the different things that I like on the page. And then this one, as well as folding out, is a tuck spot. So I only glued it side and bottom. And then I've got a note in here. When these gorgeous little birds were in there. I looked at the birds first and went, mm, little birds, they're cute. And then I was like, oh, they're moods. Look, this one's like omakoi. 
This one's singing, so he's happy. This one's, oh my gosh, I feel like having a drink. This one's saying hi, and this one's like, seriously crappy day. And, you know, we all go through all these moods, so I was, that just like resonated with me. I was like, oh wow, that just, that just makes sense. And the things that pop out to you, it's just so cool. Brings back memories. I've got a little envelope here that I made. It's got a pocket in there with nothing in it yet. I love to do photography. So that's my little camera. When we were kids, we had a peach face lovebird. So he was just there. Um, some letters that I found in my stash, which I did some stenciling on the page first. That's my hubby. This is a Tim Holtz stamp, and I love this because I love doing photography. Our heart captures photos of your life, notes that create a timeless story of every day, a journal of memories we cherish, hopes and dreams, the thoughts or secret wishes we treasure, the moments you live to embrace, love. Imagine a journey of creative stuff and things to discover. And on, that's what a journal is, isn't it? Whether it's a journal, whether it's an album that you've written little notes in, Anything that brings back memories is is a journal. And that saying of Tim, that Tim Holtz has got on his stamps, it's just I think it's just amazing. I love it. Anyhow, snippet rolls. I've got a heap of receipt rolls that I've got from work because they change printers, so it's a different size. So I made a snippet roll, and this is just a little bit of it. And I'm going to do a video with making the snippet rolls. Great way to use up your scraps. We had a co couple of cockatiels and we had a grey and white one. So that was just perfect. This is just a book page I played with at some point with those watercolour crayons again. And then I put a stamp on it. and Well, two stamps. And then I just did some doodling. Well, not doodling. They're actual stamps. But I coloured them in. And put a few more stamps on there. On the back I was just having fun while I was watching TV. And I love playing with colour and arty stuff. So there's a pocket in there. Apparently this is called Dragonfly Paper. I'd never heard of it come in the Happy Mail. But it's very cool. It's a bit like tissue paper. But obviously it's brown. But you can see all the texture in it. It's very cute. This Western Union telegram, not something I come across in Australia very often, so it's awesome to get that. I let another little pocket here, which I've started making a fold out journaling pocket page. Don't know what that's going to end up being yet. That's where I've started, but I tried to get, I had a bright pink stamp pad next to me so I've added some brown on top to dial it down to match the colour of the beautiful roses and this is a, a quote that I got out of a book about arranging flowers and it's it's about roses so it was just like perfect in there journey we're all going on journeys our life we do different little journeys we have one big journey and where is it where is it taking us there's some stenciling on there more stenciling. Be sweet and wear your, wear your crown. Ha, little girl wearing crown. And believe in your dreams. And I haven't done much on the back here. I've sketched a little leaf on there and uh, stuck a wax seal on here that I got in Happy Mail as well. So just, that's just a little booklet I can put into one of my journals when I've finished it. And one day when I can't remember stuff, it's going to hopefully bring back memories and hopefully my kids will like it too so there we go thanks for coming along and watching like and subscribe if you want to and appreciate everyone's support have a wonderful day see ya